Good morning. Today we are going to see part A portion of technical English in second semester syllabus of Anna University examination. It is called extended definition. So what it is actually? It is a statement that says what something is. It's a definition which gives a meaning through a statement, through a sentence about what it is. By reading this definition, we understand the meaning of it. It is an explanation of a word or phrase. We generally define about a word. The word can be a product or a person or a process, anything. So through this explanation, we understand what it is and the definition should be precise accurate and should give a complete meaning or a definition about the product or a process or a person beyond any doubt and this definition is a very basic in technical writing whether it is a writing or speaking it will be part of it without it a writing will not be complete. To be frank, any writing or any speaking will start with this definition. And there are three types. One is informal definition. Then second one, formal definition. This formal definition is called a simple definition or single sentence definition. Type three is extended definition. So let us see informal definition at first. What it is? Informal definition is part of a sentence which will be between commas or within parentheses. Within the bracket it will be it will be mentioned. It is low level in importance because through this definition, informal definition the word gets extra meaning but without it also the sentence is complete it's an additional information it can be a word or a phrase for example the viscosity within the bracket we mentioned thickness of the syrup made it difficult to pour without the word thickness which is in parentheses within brackets the word is complete. The viscosity of the syrup made it difficult to pour. This informal definition adds additional information to the word viscosity here. This is informal definition. The second part formal definition which is also called simple definition or single sentence definition. In this we start with the term, the term to be defined, defining term. The next one, we mention the class or group or concept to which the term belongs. Anything that we define may fall into a category or class. Oh, and then the later part is the final part is unique characteristics which distinguish it from all others of its class so that we may easily identify what it is through the definition. Extra characteristics can be its functions, can be its usage, can be its uh, specific detail. the sentence informal formal definition will have three components at first the term the term to be defined then class or a family the last part is characteristics how do we classify the given word it can be 
the 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 term to be defined can be a thing or a person or a place or process if it is a thing can be electrical or electronic you can mention or else you can say it is an object as a class or we can say it is a device or a gadget or an equipment or tool any word any of these words can be used as a part of family or class this is about class of family let us see an example the term to be defined is computer so what would be the class the computer can be brought under a class called an electronic device characteristics so what is the usage of it yes store data find and arrange information calculate amounts and control other machines so we have to combine all these three as a definition a computer always the definition starts with the term to be defined right we should not start with a pre pronoun form it the question or the term to be defined may be the question like computer the definition should should always start with the term a computer is an electronic device next to the term defined a computer we mention the class a computer is an electronic device that helps store data find and arrange information calculate amounts and control other machines within a sentence we give all the characteristics of the term so that we can easily identify its place among its family family members like electronic devices there are multiple electronic devices in the world by reading their characteristics the uniqueness of its functions or usage we understand what it is 